Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotator, the Horde Survival Action Rogue Like itself, but modded though, because we're going to be checking out the Violence Aesthetics mod here once again. Adds a bunch of characters to the game, and today we're checking out the Shield Modifier character. Creates four shields around structures with a radius of 200 and half of your range, and does two and half of your engineering as damage to enemies nearby. You get five HP regen for every shelter that you're standing in, and you start with a wandering bot. And you take damage every second. So that's a lot of stuff. So basically, structures are going to have a radius around them that both protects us and does damage to enemies. I do think this is finally the time to give a shot to the Hand Flare, which let's just pop in and see it in action here. Okay, so we're taking one per second. But if we're standing in this radius, we do not have to be quite so worried interesting that's a cool little visual there feels like i'm playing um astroneer right now i'm glad we're always in the wandering bot circle and it seems like it would be a best in slot item to get another one of uh i'm gonna grab the book for sure but let's get a hand flare you know what going for a sausage and doing kind of like a mix of elemental and engineering sounds kind of interesting Hand Flare does a little bit of melee damage off of Elemental, which is something. And it also spawns a spotlight that does 40% Elemental and Engineering, wherever the little spotlight is pointing at here. So for now, if I'm not standing in this circle, I'm I'm dying, is kind of the uh, the gist of it here. But we do want to make sure we head out from our little base just for a bit to make sure we get all this money. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that. Thank you. It's risky. It's wild. I love it. Okay. Elemental, maybe. I do kind of want to get some engineering. I'll get some HP regen so that we don't have to be too scared. We'll get the other hand flares, which is both a tool and elemental. So we get elemental scaling and engineering scaling by having it. This, as far as I'm aware, is the only modded weapon. No, 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 no. We have the tree as well. I'm going to say the only modded weapon in in this mod pack, but yeah, the tree weapon's in it as well, and it's also pretty cool. These are two really, really cool modded weapons. This one is absolutely wacky, and I love it. It has a whole new method of attacking enemies. HP regen over life still sounds nice. Engineering is divine. Get a little bit of luck. You know, we could get campfire. I'll get the, the wand. So the thing is, our laser beams should... Well, first of all, they have full piercing already. Uh, they should have a chance to apply sacred sausage now. And that they can. All right. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Does not feel particularly challenging yet, but I don't know if maybe when we get um, to higher health enemies, we're going to have a lot more issues. Because we're doing pretty tiny damage. We stand right in here. We're never taking damage. Zoop. I'll take Broken Mouth. We're definitely gonna we're gonna stack all the engineering we can find. Eh. I doubt they can crit. That was a lot of a lot of rolling for not a lot of good stuff. I'll take the tree and honestly, I'm defeated by that shop and I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I, I that shop made me sad and I'm going to now go. In fact. Do we want to be, like, sitting in the corner? Nah. I think that it's best to, like, stand on a laser and direct it a little bit more, you know, whoop, on a more micro scale like that than to do it from far away. But I think that there's an argument for both, probably. Whoop. Welcome to my rave. More pickup radius would be great. More range sounds nice. I'll take some range. Percentage damage. 
We could. It helps our burn. Ah, uh, whatever. Sure. There's the other hand flare. I'll definitely. I'll grab a turret. There's nothing saying we shouldn't. The scaling goes up on the laser beam. Triangle of power seems like the worst idea. Fertilizer is free. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's our uh, that's our upgraded beam. We know which one's that. That's the one to direct a little bit more specifically, probably. This feels busted. <laughs> like, I'm ready for my rude awakening soon. That is going to absolutely smack me upside the head when we get, like, a high health enemy. But this feels busted in a way that few things in the mod have so far, which is kind of refreshing in a way. There have been some things that have obviously been, like, quite strong, or, or like, we had to try a little bit less than others. But for most characters, we had to try really hard at some point of the run. And my guess is this character will have to try... No, I... That could... That could just kill me. My guess is this character will have to try hard at the end of the run. Coffee. I, I don't really care about my attack speed. I doubt that these get impacted really in any meaningful way by um, attack speed if we got if we got improved tools I doubt that it, I doubt it would do anything right I doubt it would do Jack Jack Patoot thirty HP regen if we're standing there if we just grab a bunch of HP armor dodge like all that stuff we could just like vibe on a pure defensive basis and probably be a okay. But yeah, everybody guaranteed taking the sacred sausage, I know what I said, damage, is helping us a lot with getting some max DPS output. Okay. Don't mind if I did. Dude, fine. I'll take the 12%. I'll take the four engineering. I'm trying to trying to multi-class it a bit more, you know? We'll give it a, we'll give it a look. Does this get now 60% scaling? Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just good. Whoa. Okay, never mind. No. The high health enemies get, get destroyed. I don't know what my weakness is. The downside is the one damage per second. That's the that's the big oh no. But it's feeling fine. I'm pretty sure that the percentage damage will not be impacting my spotlights. To be clear, the reason I'm taking the percentage damage is for uh, the burn damage over time and a little bit to help the melee damage that I am going to be doing. The melee range damage I'm doing with these, like the actual smack. Just as ways to maybe help me out with um, more direct in my face damage and for long-term burn stuff. It was an epic, right? Like It was an epic one. I feel like it's worth it. I feel like... Okay, I do care about range, so I'm actually going to say no because I do really like range. Take metal detector. I'll take boiling water for sure. Uh, melee range harvesting. Nothing that I want. Stone skin is actively harmful right now. But yeah, I I kind of want to increase my range by a lot just to see these circles get quite a bit bigger. But yeah, I know that there is a legendary item in this mod that gives us an extra, like, fully legendaried out spotlight. And I would love to see that. I would love to see that today. Surely we're tagged for it. We got to be tagged for structures in general, right? That's got to be generally what it is. Another wandering bot would obviously be extremely strong. As many as possible, please and thank you. I wonder if the, uh, the damage from our little radius can apply sacred sausage, I know what I said. I think so. Haven't gotten to do that in a while. You haven't been taking it. 
you know, we probably could do it and it'd be fine, but I also, same token, I don't need it. A free crown is incredible and makes me want more harvesting. Thank you. Tardigrade, unfortunately, will get destroyed immediately. <laughs> I, have, I take damage every second. Taking the garden because it is a structure. Uh, why would I want bandana? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it would do anything for me. It would do something for whatever turrets we buy, and that's it. And we're not finding that many of them, weirdly enough. So the garden has a structure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The garden has the little radius. Oh my god, like... You could make a... Like an astronaut Mars colonizer character by having something with this idea, but specifically with gardens. Oh, I really like that idea a lot. We you can, kind of got that already here with this one. I think if you played this with shears... You would get you would get that vibe entirely, and I think that'd be a lot of fun. This is such a cool concept. Is it too strong? Probably. That's fine though. I'll take an alienize for free, sure. Uh, grab some armor. Wheelbarrow, I think I can handle it. I got. Ah, I, I, I skipped over the freaking. I'm so used to skipping over um, pencil. Yeah, this is the moment of truth on this. Seeing mummies die this fast means that we don't really have a downside today. They could die faster, but it's pretty busted. And I love the utilization of the sausage and the elemental on this. I think, I just think it's, I just think it's neat. We made a build that I have not really done that much on a character that is completely unique as well. I think playing around with mixing elemental and uh, engineering is, is totally viable. And the second we hopefully find the strange book, oh my lord, we're going to be so happy. Our entire build will be justified on the spot if we find that book. Take some harvesting because it's still early. Grab some range. I know there was engineering there too, but I'll take silver bullet. As far as I'm aware, it does work. I will definitely take tractor. Woo! That is good. Get exploded. Just walking on through. But yeah, theoretically, um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that Silver Bullet is classified as a secondary stat. I don't know. I don't know. I, I still have not looked in the files, but my educated guess would be that it's a secondary stat. I know that the way that sometimes things like percentage damage or explosive damage or piercing damage gets a little bit funky in the system. And I would say it's kind of up in the air whether or not something like uh, boss damage is a secondary stat or kind of like a weird, just a weird tertiary stat almost that does get affected or doesn't get affected. All I'm trying to say is uh, I think it works. Yeah, there we go. I fixed it. We got the pencil. Get some more range. Fuel tank sounds nice. We'll get this. Get a bag. Get a compass. We could get Schmoop, but I also just don't really care. It's my dodge. I have actually more dodge than I thought. Woo! Nelly! I would say that the character is too strong, but I don't think it's necessarily... Well, yeah, no, the, the AO <laughs> AOE from these things is the character. 50% scaling? 50% 50, 50 scaling per second. Does 18? 
Some people are taking 19 damage from something, from the actual smack. Gotcha. It seems like... Yeah, it's kind of a cross-section, but mostly the, uh, the spotlights. Okay. Got a lot of chaos on the screen, too, though. We'll make it pretty easy to get smacked when we're not looking. Pickup radius would be good today, just so that we don't have to leave our, our circles as much. Vigilante ring? Yeah, of course, we'll, we'll take it. Why not? Sure. Get more range. Get more range. Fairy, we might as well. Leather vest, sure. Plant, sure. Ooh, wee. Medical turret is so good. Medical turret has a damaging aura around it. It's kind of divine. This could be a standstill kill build today if I didn't find those so exceptionally boring to play as. I mean, you can do it. Could I... Can you make a build that gets so strong that it just stands still for 100 waves going to endless? I could. I just don't really feel like it. It just sounds like the last thing that sounds... It <laughs> sounds interesting to me, unfortunately. Uh, but hey. Alas. We've got ourselves a pretty disgusting run that could make it pretty far. It is what I'm kind of kind of gathering here. With a heap and helping of armor and stuff like that. We'd be good to go. Another free medical turret is crazy! Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, we can, we, can, we can probably get shackles and lock. <laughs> okay. What's the overlap? 68? Is there anywhere that has more? 53? 58? 63 HP regen. 6 HP a second. It's pretty silly. Yeah, I would love pickup radius today. God, the center in the middle is just disgusting. Disgusting. Give me the strange book. I'd love the strange book. Give me the strange book. It never shows up when I want it. I still, to this day, I don't think I've had a run that wants strange book or whatever the hell it's called. I don't really know because I barely ever get to use it. I don't think I've had a run where I've wanted it truly for my run and it showed up. So maybe today. This would be the day that it would make the most sense. But I don't know if we're tagged for engineering or if we're tagged for like just structures, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever, sure. A little bit more range. I'll grab shackles. Landmine. Landmines? How does that work? Ugly Tooth will actually slow down enemies. Or at least it should. I'll get another snake. Flare. 60%... Oh, oh, it actually doesn't go up. What? One spotlight that casts two beams of light. Okay, never mind. It doubles. Just kidding. It does twice as much damage. And here I was thinking it didn't improve at all. So where's the landmine? Does it... I can't... tell, but I think that the landmine has the, uh, the circle around it, too. Yeah, it totally does. That is hilarious. Like, having a run with landmines where we're kind of trying to protect the landmines is such a funny thought to me. But we could get, like, a bunch of screwdrivers, get um, improved tools, lots of attack speed, so we're just spawning a million landmines, and hopefully we just have so many things on the field that they never step on the landmine? That's such a funny concept to me, so much that I kind of want to try it. 
common sense. Great. Pocket factory. Pocket factory. I can't get my speed up anymore. I don't, I don't really want the elemental damage down. Another turret's amazing. Metal detector's good. I'll take another hand flare. Uh, am I capped at three? I'm at, capped at three, not capped at six, right? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm very curious to see how this goes. And that kind of puts it into perspective. We don't have great, well, we have good, not great single target damage. Oh, yeah. Ironically, though, because of how AoE-centric this is, AoE, like, piercing sort of centric this is with the uh, laser beams, we probably have an easier time on the final boss than that guy because both bosses will be taking the damage, the same amount of damage, roughly, at the same time. So that is quite helpful. This is turning into chaos. The ranged up making it even stupider. Like, the sons of guns can't move. Uh, I don't actually have explosions. I could get some, but I don't really... Ooh, alloy helps us. Oh, no, we are capped at six. I was right the first time. It's fine. Leave it there. Yeah, the more range we get, it's not just, like, how much HP regen we get. It's also going to be the, um, the whole AoE damage situation that's getting improved. They're going to be getting hit by more AoEs at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Getting more dodger armor is really, like, at this point, it's the only thing that would um, take this from an easy win to a basically guaranteed win. It's just a bit of survivability. But alas. For now, we vibe. We circle the big dumb rave until everybody goes away. Thank you very much. Absolutely, we want that. Uh, toolbox is good. I'll take a hand flare. Eh. <sighs> Says he wants pickup range, doesn't take little frog. It's expensive. It's expensive and harvesting is not useful at, the, at wave 19. I just don't care. There goes the dodge, but hey, we do a little bit more burning. Doing 68 damage. Oh, we just need a little bit more. Somewhere between one and two more elemental lore and engineering damage, but no more. We kind of stopped getting new structures. the factory. The factory's so silly. I don't know, was this character... This might have been the last character made before 1.0 came out. I know the next character was made after 1.0's release. So I wonder if this character was made pre or post edition of Factory. I don't have that many tree stats. Melee ranged. I don't really care about those stats, so I'll take it. Bait. I mean, I don't really want it in the boss fight, so sure. Take some armor. That helps. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for range. Attacks you stand still. Don't really care. Range is fine. Lure is fine. Metal detector is fine. We get some engineering stat. 69. Another guard. 
it's worth bumping up to that to legendary uh cyclops i don't really i don't want to tank down my range so i guess that's it i guess we're done so uh flamethrower actually would have been kind of fun we have a decent amount of elemental we got 69 engineering and we're doing 69 damage on this oh that's some silly stuff all right now trying to uh dodge this stuff while i can't see anything yeah see look at this this is this is absurd, but it's also less damage than you would maybe think it would be. All things considered. Okay. Standing by the, um, the double... Okay, that guy up there is definitely dead. I really liked that run. That was very stupid and very fun. I mean, I had a lot of harvesting, and I got pretty lucky in the shop. I'm not going to say extremely lucky. The best thing to get would be more wandering bots. And we didn't get any more of those. We never got the engineering into elemental book. Or wait, reverse. Wait, no. Yeah. Um, so we could have... That's the crazy thing here is that this run could have been luckier. That's... That's unsettling. But alas, alas, that is that, and that is going to do it here for today for Brotato. Click the link at the top description if you want to check out the mod for yourself. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra special, uh, specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!